it's time for another week of van build um van builds um jim's parents have now left um so a, we can we're now not living in the van anymore which means we can do more building to it and there's lots of little jobs on the agenda today lots of our parts have arrived uh, they were still waiting for a few bits so with there's basically there's loads that we can get on with so jim and i are going to be doing that today and there's really not long until ireland at all now i'm also sorting out lots of vets things and health check covid type things that we need to do before ireland um and if any of you are thinking of bringing a dog uh, to europe to ireland um then i uh, i'll explain those later on in the video um because there's lots of things to go through and lots of things you need to do um and it's actually quite expensive <laughs> and um you've got to do certain things by certain days and things so i'll let you know that later in the video We have just had this, but it's not quite thick enough. So we've bought some two inch memory foam that we are going to cut and put on top of this one, just to make it that little bit thicker and comfier. But that means I'm gonna have to reupholster all of these cushions. Um, which means we get to lose this lovely red Hawaiian fabric. <laughs> I'll show you what I've opted for instead. Um, to go with the curtains, um, I tie dyed some more calico, which is exactly what I used for the curtains. In um, I used a mixture of denim blue and olive green, I think it was. I'll leave the links down below. Um, literally just soaked them in our shower tray with the dye in it, left it overnight and then they turned out like that which um, I think they look really good. <laughs> so bye bye red, hello green, let's do this. noticed that if the bottom one is thicker like that then this cushion will sit higher which means that I need to change the width of this one
big good. improvement to that. Oh yeah. Calmer. And hopefully comfier. That's big enough for you. <laughs> I can fit half my body on that. That's a quarter of the bed. Should we go and put it in? Yeah. I'm so impressed with that. Uh, this wrapping around the edge is also sticking. Really nice. Let's go and have a look. There we go. One down. Love it. It's comfy too. <laughs> this is slightly bigger than one than two things. So I get some scissors. Cut off this bit. I got to cut. Keep giving that. Oh, that sticks well. For laying carpet floor tiles. So. That sticks to itself really well. No, I meant the Hessian sticks uh. to itself well. well. That's a really easy way of making seams then. Yeah. That's going to go on there. So if this doesn't work, wrapping it around and sticking it to the board, what I can do is just create just a seam, seam yeah. all the way around and then yeah. stick that down. I think it will work though. Okay, so that's going to go let's see, to the board there, something like that. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights, won't stop for traffic lights. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Yeah. 
Can we put it up now? Looks brilliant. We could be friends. We could be more if you wanted to. If you could stand being with someone who betrayed a few. Been wandering round and searching for a place to fall. There's a time for us. I know we could have it all. If you stay for a while, I will show you I can make the call. Have it all. Nice. That's better, isn't it? Very good. How are you sitting on it? I'd wondered if it was too tall. Looks good. Just three more to do. <laughs> Been wandering around and searching for a place to fall. So good, and it's so yeah, that's perfect. Nice one, Jim. Yeah, buddy. Looks sick. It's sweet, isn't it? Yeah. You can see the little frog really well. Yeah, perfect spot. I actually love it. Yeah, it looks great. Well done, everybody. That was a really good choice. It was. So, at the start of the video, uh, I told you that I would let you know what you need to bring your dog to Ireland or any European country. Um, since Brexit's happened, there's some slight changes, um, naturally. Also, we've got the pandemic to consider, so there's a few things that you will need. The first thing is a European passport, if your pet already has one. Um, Hagen came from Greece originally, so he has a European pet passport. If you don't have one of these, you will need your vet to complete an animal health check, which is £120 in our vets. It might differ, I'm not sure and you can only use that for one trip and then you have to get another one. You can only use it there and back again. So even if we are only going for 12 days to Ireland, which is what we are, on our way back, once it's stamped to come back into the country, the animal health check is then void and we cannot use it again. Luckily, we don't need to go through that. Um, Hagen has a pet passport. They're actually the cutest thing. There's, I don't know if you've ever seen one. There's no photos in it, it's just a description. And um, he's, I mean, it could be, it's so generic. Mixed breed, male, white with grey spots. <laughs> um, but also there's a microchip number in there and that's the most important thing. That's what identifies Hagen. So he came with a microchip when we adopted him, when he came from Greece. Um, and the number on his microchip matches the number in his passport and that's the most important thing. Even if you don't have a passport, your pet needs to be microchipped to travel to Ireland. You also need, before 21 days before you leave, 
a rabies vaccine and that's what this certificate is. This cost just over £70. Ideally, the rabies information would be written into the passport, but seeing as this is now a European passport and we're not part of Europe, our vet is now not allowed to write in it. So we are just going to place the rabies certificate in Hagen's passport and hope that that's enough. Your dog will also need a tapeworm treatment before 24 hours before you arrive in the new country or but no more than five days so between five days and 24 hours before you arrive in the new country and that is it so yes it could cost over 200 pounds to bring your pet to Europe um, we've made the decision to bring Hagen because one he already had the microchip and passport so we just have to pay the 70 pounds for the vaccine and tapeworm treatment i don't know how much that's going to be yet we haven't got to that point yet but that's cheaper than keeping him in kennels or getting a dog sitter also because he's a rescue i worry that um it could set him back by putting him in kennels or getting him to stay somewhere else and i want him to join the irish adventure too so that's why we've decided to bring him He's going to absolutely love it. But at least we know he's all packed and um, all secure and ready to go. And there should be no problems. Fingers crossed. As for us, um, we just needed to download a double vaccination uh, passport thing on the NHS app. Super easy to do. It's free. Super simple. Um, the government website made it sound really complicated. It really wasn't. Um, just put in your NHS details, log in and it's there. So that was easy. If you haven't been double vaccinated, you will need to quarantine or provide a negative PCR test taken before arrival. Luckily, we've got the vaccination, it's all good. Um, that's all sorted. And then we also have a information about where we're staying and um, just about us really, how long we're staying for. And that needs to be completed within 72 hours of arrival in Ireland. So I've saved that for when it comes to that time. And that should be it we need passports um to get there we're arriving via ferry via northern ireland um but seen as northern ireland is obviously attached to the republic of ireland um ireland works in very much the same way as europe does even though it's kind of like a blurred line now um yes it's not in necessarily in europe but because it's attached to a european country they kind of have the same rules they kind of have to do the checks um, so we'll just see when we get there and you'll see along the way too because we will film everything on our adventure. But I just wanted to reassure you, um, we were really nervous to travel because of post-Brexit pandemic and all of that. And with a dog, we've never travelled with a dog before, we're sleeping in the van, like all of that stuff kind of scares us, it's all new to us. But so far, it seems pretty clear, pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to reassure you that so far so good and we'll let you know how it actually goes once we are there. I hope that reassures some of you to get in your van and start exploring again, even if it is locally, it's all good. And we are one week closer to our Irish adventure. See you next time. Bye!